Basic 22 is where I learned a lot about SQL injection because before doing this challenge, I almost, I have like uh, taken some classes, but it's not like exercise intensive. Uh, so this is the one like I have to really understand the syntax, what's going on in the SQL queries. So for basic 22, there are like, I can show you, I tried a bunch of steps that like for all the SQL injection uh, website examples I can find online. And there are basically three, two key steps. The first one is when I got, hmm, let me see, when I tried this one, uh, when I was trying this, I had no idea what I'm doing, but it did give me some information useful. Like it is telling you, like when you are saying a sentence in red color for these Enigma group challenges, basically they are telling you seriously, it's not like anything to trick you. So they are telling you, uh, you could have found the table name is users. And that's where I learned that users is probably the name of the table we want to look at. That's the first key step I have learned before I got the correct answer. Like it's a building up, it's a build up process. Uh, and the, another key step is why I used, let me see which one, I think this one. Yeah, I was, I read this on some, uh, Wipes. Wait. Oh, I didn't copy. Yes. Okay. So this syntax is saying you are union two tables. The first part, this part is the query of the first table and the the part after union is a query about another table. And when you are using union means you are like uh, tie up two tables together vertically. When you do join, you put it together two tables vertically and it's much harder to, like it's much easier to mess up when you want to attach two tables uh, horizontally, which is join than union. And But there is a constraint on union that you have to make sure the column numbers of two tables have to match. And that's, that's how I learned there is three columns uh, from the users, one, two, three, because if you only do Oh, I started from here. Like I started from only one, two columns. Then it tells you it have a different number of columns. Then I keep trying, trying until like when I hit three columns, it worked. Like it's still not telling me the thing I need, but at least it worked. Then I started trying like the we need password. So let's try if it tells you the password. And yes, it does tell you the password. And I also happen to find this user username yeah it tells you the username uh, but that's uh, that's a try and try and error process you have to keep trying and to ex illustrate everything better i actually oh my god i closed mm. uh, okay it's here mm. so So here is uh, this part is creating the tables, two tables. One is called the movies and it has three columns, an integer, a string and an integer. And there, the second table is called users. It has four columns, integer, string, string, string. So when you are called union, you are uh, putting two 
t tables together vertically and because the first table only have three columns so the second table you have to choose only three columns from it and what confused me why I first use this is why we put a 99 here and the answer is actually it really doesn't matter it's you can put whatever there it's just a label like for example if uh, there the result didn't show the first part because movies ID actually there isn't eight it's one two three four five six that's why it didn't show uh, if you put a four they're gonna be there and you can see this value this nine is just a label to show this part is from the second table so it's a very arbitrary value it's like a shortcut when you uh, put two tables together you use this arbitrary value to labels uh, where these several rows come from which table they belong to originally and that's the reason like uh, It's a reason like this value it really doesn't matter what number you put there it can be any arbitrary value because they just fill up the blank in that you just need to make sure the column number matches so that value doesn't matter so the another uh, thing need to note is this ID like what because we we, are, we already can see if we click you can see like all the information here already we don't need those information so as long as like this is ma the site opened its id equals one and id equal two id equal three and when you type id equal five it doesn't exist and that's going to be the same re result like we put Eight here which doesn't exist here so it just ignored the entire query from another table I don't know why SQL allows this but a friend told me they do use this way for some flexibility um, so yeah mm, so this is a table, uh, table name I learned before and this number just to ignore the information we don't need and you want to use you need to query the information we actually need from the, this table so but this is a hash and in these all the challenges I have finished uh, 27 3 30 31 32 40 41 and they use a lot of md5 encryption i do not know why but we're gonna decrypt it oh, uh, because my internet is super slow now so this is the result i just encrypted so it's bl1 and d so i'm gonna copy this just to show you that's the answer